Welcome to this short but sweet chillax yoga is what I'm calling it. The intention, overarching intention of this practice is to give you an opportunity to relax. You might utilize this practice before bed. You might just use it in the middle of the day when you know you just need to get grounded. So let's begin. We will start seated in a comfy position for you. This is your invitation to use whatever props you have that are going to support you in this practice. None are required, but certainly you do you as always. And as also as always, listen to your body along the way and really make this practice about you. What do you need in this moment? So let's start by just sit, taking a seat and settling in and really connecting to our breath. So I invite you to close your eyes and just tune in. Connect to your breath, connect to your body. Connect to sounds of airplanes outside if you can hear that. <laughs> You know, and just noticing sounds in your environment can be part of this practice. You know, we can notice our surroundings and really just stay where we are in this moment. So just staying with your breath for another moment longer, just connecting to the presence of your breath, noticing where you're at. Are you breathing up high in the rib cage or can you settle into this slow, deep lateral breath? Take in this moment to practice presence and be with your breath. Beautiful. When you're ready, open your eyes, or if you wish, keep your eyes closed. And we're gonna begin with a few little neck rolls. So just rolling your head forward, side to side. We're not pushing or straining, just releasing that little bit of tension in our neck. If you get a few clicks or clunks that happen kind of organically, don't stress about those. That's just your body doing its thing. If anything causes you discomfort, you know what to do. Just adjust course and listen to your body. Beautiful. A couple more neck rolls at your own pace. Ready, coming back to a neutral neck position, nice and tall. And we're gonna actually just engage a little bit of muscles and then release. So we're gonna do a little bit of a, a muscle relaxation technique. I love throwing this one in whenever I need it, <laughs> in the middle of my work day, um, when I'm having a tough moment. And the idea is just to like relax the shoulders down by the side, lift the shoulders up, squeeze all those muscles, all those tense muscles, those stress muscles, and then intentionally with a sigh, <sighs> release. We're going to do that three more times. So really intentionally draw everything up. You might even scrunch your face up and then exhale. You might even imagine releasing whatever it is you needed to decide it. You decided that you needed to release for today's practice. Inhale, scrunch it up and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Settle it down. Beautiful. Now we're gonna take our hands to, bring them together and bring them to our heart space. And we're gonna draw our chin to our chest and just allow that gentle stretch at the back of the neck. Just really, really fine stretch at the back of the neck. Nothing intense, nothing, we're not pushing, we're not proving here. We're allowing and creating grace and space for ourselves and for our bodies. And as we sit here with that, grace and space. Set a little intention. What did you come to today's practice looking for? What are you needing in this moment? Set an intention to receive exactly what that is. Beautiful. Take a big breath. Exhale your day. Exhale what you don't need here on the mat. And we're going to start with a little kind of a modified eagle seated. So what we're going to do is we're gonna open our arms wide 
And then we're gonna exhale, wrap our hands around and give ourselves a little hug. Feel that opening between the shoulder blades. Beautiful. Lifting the elbows up, dropping the shoulders down, feeling that release through the shoulder blades, between the shoulder blades and the back of the shoulder, especially on the top arm. And I just want you to bring your noticing to that top arm because we're gonna go ahead and switch. So inhale, open up wide, feel that nice little expansion through the chest. Take a deep breath, exhale, other arm layers on top. Give yourself a big old hug. Fabulous job. You might notice I'm just starting to naturally, organically, just like rock, like I'm just offering myself some nurturance. Maybe that naturally shows up for you too. What a beautiful way to offer yourself comfort. Beautiful exhale. And release, relax down. We're gonna find our way down to the mat, nice and easy. Again, any tools you want, any props you want, bring them with you. We're gonna start just laying on our backs and we are gonna bring our knees in and gently rock and roll. So just want you to imagine drawing little baby circles with your knees. The intention here is just a gentle, gentle massage on the low back. So you might feel a little bit of tension, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of release through the low back, through the tops of the glutes. You will have organically chosen one direction to start. When it feels right for you to switch, go ahead and switch it to the other direction. Breathing, just also allowing that little bit of a massage on the lower abdomen, on the digestive tract. From here, we're gonna come into a really relaxed, happy baby. So lots of options here. Drawing the knees wide to the shoulders, letting the sacrum settle to the mat, letting your low back relax into the mat. Hanging out here, just fully releasing. And you might choose to stay here. If you want a more um, traditional happy baby, feel free to go there. But again, remember, come back to our intention. Our intention is to simply allow grace and space. So, you know, what would it look like if you didn't always, you know, quote unquote, level up, take it to the next? Can you just give yourself the permission to be here now as you need? Draw the knees together, slowly lower them down. Hands to your sides, lift the hips up and over to your left. Knees drop to the right, and we're gonna come into a gentle recline twist. This is where props or pillows might be helpful depending on how your body likes to be supported in a twist. Feel free to throw a blanket or a pillow or a prop between your knees or under your knees should feel nice and gentle on the low back. Breathe and release all that tension. Physical tension, but also that mental, emotional tension you might be bringing to the practice needing to release today. Letting it go. Just allowing yourself to be here now. Gently rolling one knee up at a time, coming back through the middle. Find that neutral spine again, then lifting the hips up and over to your right and let the knees fall to the left. Now I have an instructed head position here. If you like to look in the opposite direction, you by all means can, but again, Gift yourself the opportunity to take a little bit of a less intense version of this. Just gently preparing our bodies to settle, to ground, to head off to sleep, or to just be a bit more relaxed than you were before. Mm -hmm. 
taking a couple more deep breaths. Beautiful. From here, slowly lifting one knee up and then the other. And then bringing your feet wide, we're gonna allow the knees just to drop inward into tripod. If your hands are wide and palms down, you can open into cactus if that feels good, or even just keep the arms wide, but palms face open. If you feel more connected to palms down, of course, you know, the drill, stay there, be true to what you need in this moment. Always options. Just allowing your knees to just knock together, adjusting the feet width so that it really serves you so that your thighs and the top part of your knee can connect. Feel that release deep in the hip socket. Beautiful job. Take one more breath here. and then slowly unravel, heel toe your feet together and slowly extend the legs. Hands can stay where they are or come down by your sides, palms face up for a little bit of energizing, palms face down for added grounding. And we're gonna hang out here in Shavasana for five big beautiful breaths, taking them at your own pace. Feeling your lungs expand with every breath and really imagining with every exhale that you're releasing whatever else needs to be released through this practice today. As you finish up your breaths, you can continue to lay here, or as and if you're ready, you can find your way back to seated, roll to one side, slowly, slowly, take your time to come up into the seated posture of your choosing. And we will finish as we do hands at heart center with three big, beautiful breaths of gratitude. Our first breath for giving ourselves the opportunity of grace and space today. Our second breath for just everything our bodies can do and the permission to not do. Our third breath of gratitude today, just an invitation to reflect on something that you're grateful for in this moment. Maybe it's this practice. Maybe it's something someone did for you today. Maybe it's some aspect of your body you're incredibly grateful for in this moment. I want you to settle in on that. Inhale. Breathe in gratitude. Exhale and release. Gratitude to you, my friends. I'm so grateful you joined me today for this practice. We'll see you next time.